The Supreme Court of Canada's ruling on consecutive parole sentences takes the side of serial killers and mass murderers instead of victims. What is cruel and unusual punishment is individuals losing their innocent loved ones to heinous crimes and then having to sit through years of detailed parole hearings, only adding to the trauma. Why isn't the Prime Minister taking the necessary steps to ensure victims are put first? Honourable Prime Minister. What we are also doing is taking the necessary steps to make sure there are fewer victims of mass killings by, for example, banning military-style assault weapons in this country, something Conservative politicians continue to stand against. They want to make those guns used at Polytechnique, those guns used in other mass killings, uh, legal again, which we will continue to stand against. Not only that, we're now moving forward on an initiative that will make it illegal to buy sell, transfer, or import handguns anywhere in Canada. Member for Calgary, Vindapur. That's disinformation, and the Prime Minister knows that they were already banned in the right. 70s. Those with consecutive sentences have only committed the most horrifying of crimes, and yet the Supreme Court wants these criminals to have the opportunity to be in society again. Canada's worst criminals should be locked behind bars and not free to walk the streets. So when will the Prime Minister start standing with victims and commit to ensuring that criminals serve sentences that reflect the severity of their crimes? Question, Mr. Speaker, is when will the Conservative Party stop standing with the NRA and start standing with Canadians so there are fewer victims of violent crimes, fewer victims of mass murders? That's why we are moving forward. Uh, we move forward with a ban on military-style assault weapons in this country. It is now illegal to buy, sell, or use a military-style assault weapon in this country. And on top of that, we're moving forward to make it illegal to buy sell or import handguns anywhere in this country. The Conservative Party stands against that. Canadians should ask them why.